ice on my wrist, looking kinda cool. Bad bitch with me, she ain't tryna move. Niggas staring at me, what you tryna do? Got me looking at my watch, and it's time to do. What's up, everybody? So, here at Locals, tournament turnout ain't that big today, so I decided to do a mini discussion with my homies here at Locals. Everybody Joe here. Here, people I fucks with. And um, we've been talking about these new world premiere promos. And yeah, I'm gonna go over the first one and get everybody else to start on it as well. So, first one is Dark Rule No More. Negate the effects of face of monsters your opponent currently controls until the end of this turn. For the rest of this turn, after this card resolves, your opponent takes no damage, neither player can respond to monster card effects. That's right. <laughs> You main deck three, it's gonna shut down four. It kinda fucks up my deck, which is Dark Law, Dark Death, of course. Um, I've already read most of before, but I just wanna make it the exact effect off. That seems pretty solid, honestly. Next one, I think, is the most important, which is Nibiru. The Primal Band, during the main phase, your opponent normal specimens five or more times or something like that. You can tribute over their monsters during the middle of them doing their shenanigans. And then, pretty much, like, it's better to, to power three wings dragging the rock. And he gives them a token, which is a combined attack of the monsters to tribute it. So, this card is specifically, it has so much potential in my life. I know you guys probably already seen review videos on it. Ain't really nothing yeah, more I can say about it. It's gonna add to the spice, just these but ultimately, I think it's worth running. Things will be running every day, go three, because every day it wants to spam. You got the rockets coming out, you got the other dragons, and thing. Hell, even when it gets the hero deck. Well, actually, I think heroes can do like three summons to do the LTK, but that's neither hero there. Um, that card's solid as hell. Yeah. Then the mission shifts there. If you have no cards in your graveyard, you can You can send this from your hand to your graveyard. At the end of the next turn, any cards into the graveyard. So, in all honesty, that's solid too. Thank you. The mission shifts are going to be like side deck for sure. I can see the Nibiru being main deck alongside things. Like, um, because this is too good. I like, why wouldn't you want to run that? And I can also see Dark Blue, um, no more being used as well, just to get over um, other archetypes. But that was my, my quick thoughts on it. I'm about to see what everybody else thinks about it. So stay tuned for that. All right, yo, yo, so what's your thoughts on the promos? It's amazing, especially for my Dino Kaijus. Uh, for the simple fact that I could play the monster and the spell card, I wouldn't care about they um not taking battle damage as long as I break their board and they'll run out of resources for the guard dragons to go back into to to the same board that they had and the fact they can't even respond to that card is it's broken. <laughs> as for the monster, I feel like it's a good um no nah, the uh, planet planet X. No nah, planet X I ain't gonna play planet X. Planet X for decks like cyber dragons. So that way they it, it can always be a monster on that field. So so um no nah, wait, I'm wrong. Actually, if Planet X would be good for your deck, heroes. So that way if you go against the pendulum matchup, they they'll have that token and you just normal summon, go off with all your heroes. But the spell and the, the other monster, the dimensional shifter is good for Dino Kaiju because I could just send a card to the graveyard and every card that go from their field is banished instead. Like I said, if they if you play against a combo deck that rely on stuff to go off in the grave like Salaman Great, that card fucks them. So they, they won't be able to do none of that shenanigans. Sky Striker wouldn't be doing none of that shenanigans or Orcus. So it, it shuts those type of decks off. It won't much hurt Thunder Dragon like that because they can still go into their guard dragon stuff and pesty because summon a banished dragon, so it's like it won't hurt them that much. They still go full combo, but still, I still play it against them too because they they feel to be crippled once I break break it down. I feel that, but like it balanced the game, just the game out a lot a lot more, more and making this little Fortnite a lot more competitive right now. As I figured out, like like my first thought on the uh, on the meteor on the meteor uh, card, on the planet, planet yeah, aka yeah. planet X, as I uh, as uh, Jojo call it, he will call it, and I feel that that card, like that card, can really it's like spirit rock, uh, reading dragon around spirit mode on crack, crack. That's how I look at it. I look at it though because me and my friend, me, me and my squad, we were just talking about that card. One of my uh, captains, we were just talking about it. Well, I, we just said, I just call it, I just told I just call it Spirit Mode on Crack. 
I would crack that uh, hey, spell card. Uh, that's pretty good. Dark Ruler no more. I feel like that card is actually is really amazing. Amazing. It's a good, very good staple. Very good staple. Because I feel like uh, depending on the deck that you're playing, that you're playing, it really shuts down those combo decks. Real, really, really hard. Really, really hard though, because because it's basically like in this format, it's called AKA Make a Board, Crack a Board. The board though, I know everybody getting tired tired of uh, seeing this format right now. How this format is right now. Uh, that card go really the game. And then, you talk about the Mr. Shipper is really it's good. It's, I feel like that card is really good right now. It's gonna be good right now because it it is a couple of decks out here that relies on the graveyard way too much. Much it's not gonna hurt the Thunder Drag. It kind of like will hurt the Thunder Drag a little little, but it really don't. But Thunder Drag, yeah, it can't even take a Thunder Dragon matchup. They really don't care. They don't care because because they can still activate their effects while banish as well. Um, it, it definitely don't balance the game. It just basically say all them combo decks is dead. Is is the rise of the road decks basically? The rise of the road decks. Don't don't be surprised if um you see road decks like heroes, cyber dragons, reaching very far in this regional for uh, rose month this upcoming um event that's held on the thirty first of this month. I feel like. I feel like even decks like Burning the Biz got a chance now. So it's like, it's the rise of the road. All right, so what's your opinion? On what? On a new hand trap that came on the team. I bust it. On a serious note, that's one thing. It makes players start to rethink to count their chickens before they hatch. Okay, so new the first off. Meteor Mash, man. <laughs> it's over here comboing, trying to make that break my board types. Nah, stop it. it would be before everybody was sighting in the whole sphere mode, man, you got main deck dancers now. Okay, what about that spell? Oh, man, you're talking about the hand trap dark love? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anything that depends on the graveyard, believe me. Shushing down. Shutting shit down. And then, um, the spell card? Eh. Anything that Eh. Why not? I ain't read that motherfucker yet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you what he does. Let me tell you what he does. <laughs> So pretty much you play it, right? Yeah. Your opponent can't respond to it. Pretty much like it's pretty much like engage the effects of all the monsters on the board to my deck. Yeah. But then your opponent can't take damage. So, so, oh fuck that. So it's like one day a piece, but it stops them from um, responding to you. So we gotta unbreak the board, we play that shit, and get all the monster effects. You can go on and then pass. I think the question is pretty much through my game. I don't was first off about that. Ah, uh, 3 up. 3 up side deck, three up. Okay. Hi there, everybody. So back at home now, and I'm going to wrap the video out with this. Of course, like our, like everyone said in the video at Locals, those cards are insane. The spell card that stops the monsters from using their effects. Nibiru, that's probably arguably the best card to pick up. And then the other card, Dimension Snatcher, whatever fuck the name was, I can't think of it right now, is solid as well. I want to leave you guys with this. Tell me what you guys think about the new cards in the comment section down below. I'm pretty sure everyone's going to have the same opinion. The cards are solid as hell. But my main question is, are they main deck worthy or side deck worthy? Me personally, with the format we're in right now, I can see people taking two to three Nibiru's in their main deck because they're just that good. You want to have a card that's going to react to boards like Thunder Dragons and etc. So, because believe it or not, despite what people think, I don't think those decks are going to die. I think those, people are still going to play those decks. They're just going to try to find a way to stop those decks. A great example, people were thinking about using, well, a great example I'm thinking about doing is using Mind Crush for the Nibiru because you can combo off and you have a Mind Crush, you're good to go. Another thing you can try as well is um, other traps, you know, like Solemn Judgment, etc. I mean, and also Solemn Strike. So, Yu Gi Oh's in a good spot right now. Shout outs to Konami for printing these cards because these cards are definitely in the game. There was a big debate online. Everyone's talking about some, man, these cards are crilling the game. What, what's going on? I, I, I'm done with this game. These cards are stupid. But literally, what would you guys rather have? Spit to the board and play Lockdown and play Break My Board or Lose? And or at least have some counters. Like everyone was kind of hating on the, the kaijus when they first came out, but like, everyone knew the kaijus were highly needed. So, like I said, man, tell me what you guys think. Like the video if you're um, new here. Like the video if you're not new here. Subscribe for more. This is Rogue Hero. 
trying to keep a consistent upload schedule. I'm going to try to seriously bring you guys videos three days a week, Sundays, Mondays, and Tuesdays. So today will be the last video until next Sunday. So I'm trying to hold you guys to that unless something big comes out like a ban list or whatever. And then we'll drop the video um, as they go on. Unless some huge new video news come out that I have to talk about, I'm going to talk about it. But my video schedule for the um, for Silver Future right now is going to be Sunday, Mondays, and Tuesdays. Because that's all like a manager right now. I think that works better for me in my current lifestyle. Hitting gym more consistently. I'm saving up for an apartment. A lot of big life changes coming in for me, which is why I'm back at my grandparents' crib. For everyone who cares about my personal life. So yeah, man, this is Rogue Hero, aka Innovation YGL, aka Chris G. And I'm signing out. Peace. See you guys on the next one.